Hey y'all, so today we're gonna talk about the thinning and a little bit more about this violence thing. So, hey y'all, welcome to another Food for Thought. So, I hope you all are having a great day. It's a little uh, rainy, cloudy here, but that also means that the heat has broken, the weather is broken. We finally have some, um, some relief from the heat that we've had. We've had temperatures in the 80s, close to 90s in Detroit really all week and that was not good with you know Jack being sick and that might have even compounded his his problems that he was having so you know so that's one thing so um, I'm really glad that that's over so I'm gonna talk about this movie The Thinning The Thinning is a YouTube read original film written and directed by Michael J Gallag Gallinger I believe Gallinger I believe is the director's name the film features Peyton List and Logan Paul Logan Paul seems to be an internet um, you know, just like a, a YouTube content creator who kind of made a name for himself and then, you know, partnered with, you know, YouTube and YouTube has been using a lot of folks who are from YouTube in their original content, which is awesome. But the film also stars Peyton List. Now, let me tell you a little story about Peyton List. I don't know if you all are aware, if you know anything, if you've seen the film, if you've followed uh, Peyton List's uh, career. I think she was uh, on a like a Disney Channel television show that I can't tell you the name of. I think maybe the name of the television show was Jessie, but she played one of the little kids on Jessie. But I know Peyton List because she and her family and her twin brother, who is uh, Spencer List, I believe, uh, lived pretty much right across the street from me when I lived in Brooklyn. You have these two blonde twins that live down the street. Their mom is very blonde. It's like they're very, they stand out. They stand out in your memory, especially if you've ever seen Village of the Damned. They were a sweet family and uh, one night while I was hosting karaoke, now some of you already know that I host karaoke, hosted karaoke while I was living in Brooklyn under, you know, the, as a character, Dropsy Desmond, and I've introduced you to Dropsy in other videos. Well, one night, their mom, Suzanne List, comes up to me in the, you know, while I'm hosting, and she says, I just want you to know that my kids are here. I know it's late. Usually, you know, you don't have kids in the bar this late, but they just turned 10. It's their birthday, and this is what they wanted to do for their birthday. So it was kind of cool to know that these two you know, cute little twins that lived across the street from my house wanted to come and celebrate their 10th birthday by singing karaoke with me as their hostess. So they sang their song, they didn't stay for very long, you know, it was late, they were 10 years old, it was a bar after all. So I thought, you know, so, you know, things like that stick with you, you know, I thought it was just very cute. However, the next day, there's a knock at my door. I open my door, I look down, and I see these adorable List twins standing at my door holding money. They said that, you know, they had forgotten to put a tip in the tip jar, because, you know, with hosting karaoke, sometimes, you know, there's tips, there's things like that, whatever. They had forgotten to leave a tip, and they came to my door and brought the tip, which I thought was so cute. So when, whenever I see one of the young list actors now, they're both actors in and of their own right, whenever I see them, I get like a little thing in my heart because I remember that sweet day that they came to karaoke and then the next day that they came to bring me a tip. It was a nice tip too. So that's my Peyton List story. Back to the movie. So The Thinning. So I watched The Thinning last night, which is really interesting because I was um, having a conversation on the live stream and we were talking about the necessity of violence to have the kind of society that we live in. And The Thinning shows this dystopian future where we've realized we can't continue living the way that we have been living and so the decision that's made at least in the United States is to instead of changing our lifestyle and maybe putting some limits on the things that we might do like limiting some of our my freedoms though right we decide that it makes more sense to kill five percent of the youth population every year so the movie the thinning follows the story of a number of the young people who are you know forced into taking this test that i guess everybody has to take and then uh if you fail the test you're basically 
put to death. And that's what they call the thinning. I thought the film was pretty interesting, pretty smart, an interesting way to kind of call attention to the fact that we live in a world that really is going to call for some huge shifts if we're not, if we're going to survive. And looking at um, the way that some people would rather um, see others suffer than to change the way they live. And that's basically what the film is pointing out, that we would rather see a small portion of the population suffering so that we can continue living with all of the comforts that we enjoy right now. Also want to call out the fact that Stacey Dash was in the film, and I thought for the most part that Stacey Dash, her career was pretty much over. She's been in a lot of scandals over the past couple of years, especially for the incendiary things that she's been saying about, you know, black people. I feel like the film is definitely directed to younger audiences, and I don't mean that in an insulting way. It's just that all the main characters are, you know, basically kids. There aren't a lot of grown-ups in the films. I think the film is definitely interesting and worth watching. It was the first time that I'd watched any of the original YouTube Red content, and I kind of give it a thumbs up. So that brings us back to this topic of violence that has been coming up recently, especially following the videos that I made about Philip DeFranco and his, you know, basically slamming the leaders, uh, I guess I guess it's Linda Sarsour, for comments that she made about Jake Tapper, for comments that he made criticizing her for wishing uh, Asada Shakur a happy birthday. I just thought it was pretty hypocritical of both Philip DeFranco and Jake Tapper to call out this individual for, you know, honoring someone because they may have been or may not have been guilty of a violent act. Understanding that we live in this society that was built on a history of violent act after violent act to allow us to live in the society that we live in right now. Now, I'm not saying that I condone the violence that may have been committed by Asada Shakur or any other group, but I think it's important if we're going to be critical of the use of violence in our society that we should go a little bit deeper than, you know, the person who mugs someone and look at some of the large scale violent campaigns that are ongoing in the world around us. I don't think that one form of violence should be used to validate another form of violence, but I do think that we should be careful not to be hypocrites. If you're live in a nice life and you have nice things and you understand that those nice things come from the suffering of people in other parts of the world, you're really not in the moral position to start criticizing others for the violent acts that they might have committed in the past to survive, to do what they felt they needed to do to live the life that they were trying to live. I think it becomes very easy and I become very suspicious of people who point out the bad behavior from one group and kind of want to uh, simplify things and pretend that if for some reason that group could be stopped, if that group could be thrown in jail, if that group could be deported, that we'd all be living a happy life. That's just not the way the world works. So I'm going to keep things simple. I have acting class tonight and so I'm gonna maybe be talking to you guys a little bit about the acting class that I'm gonna be taking at Plowshares Theater. I think I may have mentioned that in the past in some other videos but um, yeah I think I'm gonna just keep it simple and leave it at that. So that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a